my god. That was just so sick. What's going on you guys? I just picked up my friend Adam. He's behind the camera right now. Yeah. And uh, we're just heading downtown right now. Oh, I just uh, sauced that, that <laughs> orange light. We're just going downtown right now to uh, Parkade and we're gonna go take some photos of a buddy's car. I believe he has a WRX. Actually, I know he has a WRX. Yes. And uh, hopefully we'll get some really cool shots there. The building's actually surrounded by skyscrapers. Skyscrapers for Victoria. I think that'll make for a really, really cool backdrop. And then once we get some really cool photos there, we'll actually head to another location and we'll try and get a different vibe for some more photos. And then at the end of the video, we'll hop into Lightroom, I'll show you guys the photos, we'll check them out, and yeah, it'll be a good time. So stick around, stay tuned. Okay, you guys, so we've made it to the top of the parkade. There's Adam. And uh, we're just waiting for Nick to arrive here. I think we're gonna be shooting over here. It's got quite a cool background with the building. We've got another big building over here, and then we have quite a few buildings in the backdrop here, which I think could look really cool. So we'll wait for Nick to get here, and then uh, we'll go from there. How's it going? Good, thank you. That is so sick. Yeah, I'm gonna give you a fist bump on camera. Good. That's there we good. go. Okay, so Pap, this is your car. Yes, sir. What is it? It is a 1998 GC8 model WRX straight from Japan. Dang. GDM. When did you buy it? When did you get it? How long have you had it? Um, I bought it like mid March, so was that like a month and a half ago? A month and a half ago? Dang. It is so nice. Look at these, what are these called again? These bolt things? Oh, the lug nuts? <laughs> Yeah, it's those lug nuts. Okay, you guys, so Pap is now here with the car, and we're gonna get into some shooting here. So it's parked up already in the right spot. So we'll just get the camera out and uh, we'll take some pictures. So we're actually just heading to a second spot now. Uh, we got some freaking awesome shots on top of that parkade. This next spot's actually close to the water and it's kind of industrial, so it'll be a different vibe and I think we'll get some bangers there too. So let's get onto it. Okay, so I totally forgot to keep vlogging. I got really carried away taking photos. It was such a cool shoot, I just got so excited. I'm working on it. I think I'll progressively get better at pulling out the video camera and doing shoots at the same time. If you guys just, will just give me some slack for this video and I will try my best to fix that next time. I don't know if you guys noticed, but I actually called Nick Pap quite a few times during that video. Pap, Pap, Pap. And that's because during school, when we were all in high school, um, everyone would call him Pap. His last name is Papa Lucas. he's from Greece. It's just kind of ingrained into my head, so I apologize for that. But uh, yeah, now you guys know. So here's another photo that I took on top of that parkade. Um, I really, really like this photo because of all those leading lines kind of directing your eye down to the car. Um, the car is looking pretty aggressive in this photo. What I did was, here's the original. I cropped it a bit, made it all centered and I flattened it out a bit. I added the preset Storm, which is also in that preset bundle by North Borders. I will link that in the description below. You guys have to go check it out because it is a game changer. I promise you it'll make your photos pop no matter what. So I added a radio filter over that car. There we go. And basically what I did was I just exposed it a little bit. I brought up the shadows. That's what that looks like after that. I then added a graduated filter at the bottom just to draw your eyes to the center of the image with that car. I brought up the exposure, added some clarity, brought up the shadows a little bit. And yeah, that's basically that image done. So quite simple, but really effective. Next photo here is really basically the same photo, but 
It's just cropped a little tighter and Nick is actually next to the car as well. Here's a before, I'll show you guys. That's before, it's looking a little faded. Nick's face is looking a little faded there. Basically the same edit, I just kind of gave some contrast to Nick and that's what we uh, came up with right there. Again, same image basically, but the car is positioned a little differently. I like the way the car is positioned because it makes it look a little bit more aggressive. The wheels are turned kind of in line with the camera. That, that was really cool. Yeah, I just really like this photo. This one will probably also end up on my Instagram. You guys should definitely go follow me at Harry Shaw with an X for the A. So yeah, again, same edit, just different positioning. Here's another cool image. I actually shot this through the railings that were lining the parkade. So what I did here was I used the preset beach, which is again in that preset pack. I just added a radial filter over the car. I increased exposure. I brought down those shadows just a little bit, brought up the exposure just a little bit more just to make the car pop, gave it some contrast, and then I gave it some clarity to make it look a little shiny, brought up those shadows one more time. And then all that was left to do was just to crop it. So that photo was done. I think that photo was really cool as well. So here's the next image. And if you guys were wondering what Nick and I were doing pouring the water onto the ground, this is the effect we were trying to create. The ground on the, on the parkade was really smooth. And by pouring that water on it, it just created a really nice reflection shot. So we brought the car up quite close so the lights would reflect into that water. Basically, this is, this is the outcome of what that was, so. We used the, uh, the preset desaturator for this one because it's originally really dark. I didn't want to lose too much detail by adding a bright preset. So what I did after that was I just added a radial filter and then I just brought up the exposure a bit, brought down those shadows, brought up the exposure a little more after that shadow adjustment and then I gave it some clarity. Added a little bit of saturation just to kind of create that blue color, gave it some warmth to even that out and then uh, give it some purple tint. Then I kind of brought down the overall shadows of the image just to kind of darken it up a little bit more. Then I brought up some of those shadows in the car glass and the car windows just to, I don't know, give it an effect. And that's basically it. So those are all the good photos I took from that shoot. There's only like eight or nine of them, not even. Yeah, it was a great time. Big thanks to Nick for coming out with his car. That was my first time shooting cars and I'm probably really bad at it. I don't really know what I'm doing but uh, I think that turned out pretty good. So if you guys like this video, hit that subscribe button, like it, share it with your friends, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next one.